So it's a long hot summer in Australia, so if you want to treat your dog to something cool, my advice is a Kongsicle. The hell is a Kongsicle? Well, first of all, you need one of these bad boys. Yes, it is a Kong. This is a classic Kong, the red colour, comes in all sorts of different sizes. There are softer Kongs, so you've got ones for senior dogs, for puppies, but there's also harder ones for the harder biting staffy type dogs or the Rottweilers, and they come in a black colour. So make sure that you get the right Kong for your dog. To make a Kongsicle, you need lots of great ingredients. So you've got some free range eggs, you've got some pasta, you've got some fresh lean mince, you've got some cooked steak, you've got roast chicken, you've got some good quality kibble, and you've also got some lean tuna and lean kangaroo jerky. And the secret ingredient, peanut butter, which is what you always start with. The idea is, is that at the bottom of the Kong, there is this little hole right here. So the peanut butter, fills up the little hole, and if you've got some excess, you rub it around here. Now, as a hot tip, if you're someone that is not washing your Kong all the time, of course they can go in the dishwasher, but if you're not washing it all the time, use some honey. You smear it around on the inside, it's an antibacterial, plus it's a sweetener. Dogs love sweet, that's why they get into chocolate and it's bad for them. But honey, antibacterial, and it adds that bit of, oh, there's something different in there. So smear it on the inside every time that you're filling up your Kong. Then you go straight to your high quality kibble. Put a bit of a handful in there. You want to be going up to that first little bump there. The idea of the kibble inside there is just to make it easy on yourself and easy on your dog. Unless you've got even a whippet type that can get their tongue in there, it's going to be really hard for the dog to get the stuff that's right down inside there. So the kibble falls out at the end and is that last little bit of a treat. Then you want to go for anything and everything. Just start stuffing away there with your roast chicken, your cooked steak, a bit of your pasta. The idea is there's just different flavours coming for the dog. Dogs get bored just like kids. You've got to mix it up. Could get stuff off your plate, but always make sure that you speak to your vet first about adding stuff from the human plate because there are a lot of things like onions, sultanas and grapes that can be really harmful towards dogs. Tuna is fantastic for the dog that's on the heavier side. Yes, it's delicious, but it's not full of fat. Now, luckily here on the farm, I've got free range ducks and chooks everywhere. So I always add an egg in there and that is where that peanut butter is really important. Now, you can smear the egg all over your thing. It does get a bit messy. That's why I do all of this out, outside. It's really going to be exciting for the dog, especially if it's a first time. That egg really, really does help. You chuck your kangaroo jerky in there like that, then you finish off with your fresh mince, because of course you really want to get your dog excited. Stuffing it like that, lots of different layers, lots of different flavours. Put that in the freezer overnight. When you go out, give it to your dog during the day. It's going to take a lot longer than if it's just filled with soft food. And also, it's going to give your dog something to do. It's proven that up to 90% of barking is eliminated by using Kongsicles. There's a hot tip for this summer.